Okay, we are all fueled up, ready to go for the next leg of this trip. Um, I've got my controls sorted out. There was a bit of calibration issue turning it to the left, so this should be a little better. Um, we're here in Burns, and this is going to be a long, long flight. We are going to need a lot of fuel. So, we are going to head this direction over the lake and then come around in front of Steens Mountain over the desert uh, dried up bed that we should be able to see maybe some paths where they're doing land speed records and then we've got to find our way through all of this nothingness to get over here to Winnemucca municipal and uh, that is going to be the trip but that trip is going to be fairly long um, see that we're here and we're going here and if you want to compare that uh, it's a little longer a lot longer than yeah but there's just there's no good spot to uh, stop along here. Now I could head over to Boise, but this looks like a lot cooler area, and then we're going to come down and probably hop in this direction and find our way maybe through this little path here. Um, I know we're heading really far south, but uh, it's going to be a little easier trip over the mountains. But, uh, yeah, this one is going to be a very, very, very long flight. So, um, hope you're ready for that. Let's get started. All right. Nope, we didn't even announce we we're clear of the runway. Doing things the right way. Kilo Bravo November Oscar traffic Cessna Kilo November Echo Echo Bravo Oscar November flight taking off runway to one departure to the south. There's no one around us, so it doesn't really matter what we do. Honestly, I could just take off this direction. There's not a whole lot of wind or anything. We might actually just do that. Hey, I remembered. Yeah, let's just take off on this runway. I'm not going to re-announce my takeoff. Took that turn a little quick. Alright, well, let's just head out. A little crosswind on takeoff, but you know what? We'd be doing it this way if there wasn't the other runway, so... Off the rudder, but a bit harsh. And start our turn. Not really climbing out too well. Flaps are up, start getting some speed as we turn here, and then climb once we got a bit more speed. I 
something... Did I do something wrong? I feel like this thing is... Well, I guess we are full on fuel. It's gonna be a little heavier. Uh, let's figure out... Yeah, this is the direction we wanna go. Really east. This is the direction we want to go. Head towards the lake, and that'll get us to where we need to be. So, alright, picking up speed. Let's get this thing trimmed out so that it's climbing for us. It's not rolling too bad to the left, just a tiny bit. I'll we'll stop outside, because, uh, not much to do at this point. We roll rolling to the right now. Uh, I hate this. Stick. There we go. Uh, not much out here, as I said previously. Um, and there's going to be even less out here soon. So, looking for lava fields. I think they're going to be, once we get over the mountains, there's going to be some lava fields. I don't know how well we'll be able to see them. And then, uh, yeah, should have more interesting landscape to look at. It's going to not look too impressive from this direction as we get closer, but the uh, other side of these mountains is I have to hope it's impressive. It looks like it on this map, so. Um, just pull that up one more time. We're heading this way, and here, we got lava field here. Just, it's gonna be just black ground. And then we should have a very cool, cool looking area. And, uh,. Yeah, and we'll fly through uh, some of these little pop-up mountains here. I didn't do much research on them. I didn't do any research on this town down here. But uh, we got some. We got a whole lot of nothing. Farms and ranches and very few actual things to guide us. A highway down here that ends and turns into a gravel road. Looks like a creek that might have a bit of water when it rains the one time a year it does that. And then we got this random ass lake that I assume is melt off from this side that has nowhere to go. Um, it looks to be the case. Steen's Mountain is growing, getting, uh, Getting a bit larger as we get there. So we're at 6,500. We need to be at about 8,000 just to uh, clear the edge of this so we don't have to go all the way around. We'll continue to climb at full throttle and then I'll back it down. Let's go ahead and get flight following. 
Salt Lake Center Cessna Kilo November Echo Echo Bravo Oscar November Fifus Type Cessna 152 7 miles southeast of Kilo Bravo November Oscar 6600 feet. Request flight following. Cessna Kilo November Echo Echo Bravo Oscar November Fifus Salt Lake Center. Squawk 6233. Squawk 6233 Cessna Oscar November Fifus. Oscar November 5 radar contact, 8 miles southeast of Kilo Bravo November Oscar, 6,900 feet. Altimeter tree, 0 decimal, 0, 07. Roger Cessna okay. Oscar November 5. We're set up on there, and uh, we are climbing at 7,000 now. Two more minutes, and we should be at 8,000, and we'll level off there and then start this long, long trek. So, as I said in the previous week's video, it is July 3rd, I believe I said that. So, I had a couple of days off where I couldn't fly. Um, so, I know you're probably seeing this in like August, maybe? Depending on how, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do once a week videos, so. Um, yeah, come around Christmas, we might be landing in Miami, but it could be the end of July for me when I'm doing that. Now, I could change the dates and make it match for when these are going to release, but um, summertime in a 150, especially if i got to go through a bit of cloud, or 152, uh, is much easier. I don't have to deal with icing and there is there is no de-icing mechanism on this unless you want to attach yourself to uh, a bit of rope and hang out with the door open and try to scrape it off on the front windshield I don't believe that is a uh, approved method of de-icing. But, uh, yeah, I you know, am enjoying this series. I hope everyone else is that has been watching. It's, it's going to take a lot of trips, but like I've said, this is something I've wanted to do in a 150, 152 to, uh, just say I've done it. And then from Miami, we might travel up the east in a slightly larger plane and try, uh, I don't know, go up through Canada, maybe hop over to Iceland, but uh, jumping, jumping the uh, bodies of water extremely boring like my brother used to do it in real life down in the uh, Caribbean and he was bored out of his mind so nothing to look at just lots of blue I don't think would make good content so maybe we'll just uh, start in Europe and then work our way oh baby you know you got two options there start in Europe and head to South Africa or start in Europe and head to China so or by the time I get done with this I won't want to do any flying or, when the update comes out later this month, Microsoft will have broken the game again, and I'll have to wait a while to fly. So, it's kind of why I'm doing a lot of flights right now, to try to get ahead of schedule in case they do break it for a month or two. Let's see if we've got anything around the edge of this lake. It looks like Lawen, L-A-W-E-N, is a town... 
village right there. Right there. There's, I don't know. It's probably two houses. It's a very large lake, though, but nowhere for it to go. So... Uh, interesting little round formation over there. And it looks like that bit dries up in the summer. We are at 8,500, so I've actually went over what I wanted to do. Let's level it off, trim it out. It's 11. Ooh, six. So we've got tons of daylight. Not gonna have to worry about that. Back throttle off a bit. I probably should be trimming or bringing the mixture down. I'm just guessing. We've got tons of fuel, we've got tons of time, and we've got tons of nothing to look at. Just at the lake. Give you an idea on the map. Oops. There's the lake. Um, looks like there's another little town, maybe, over here on this end, and the goal is to get over here. So, heading south, southeast, kind of along the path of this east coast of the lake. over here. So what I read was that this whole area is formed by um, like why it is so high in elevation is 12 or 16 million years ago like hundreds and hundreds of feet of lava were deposited in this area. Um and then it's harder to road off, I guess, is the way I understood it. And, uh, yeah, so that is why it's a much higher area. And then you got all these little rift zones where um, areas were shoved up. And then you got volcanoes back to the west on the Cascade. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just a very strange, strange land. I mean, it doesn't look too much different than the sand hills in Nebraska, except for the mountains and these much larger little uh, bluffs around here. But it's uh, definitely not populated. So you can spot what is supposed to be a town at the end of this bend here. And it's probably just another couple of buildings that all the ranchers go to, I guess. I'm not seeing a whole lot. New Princeton is what it is called. Now, there's supposed to be a lot of ranches right along here, but um, I'm assuming those are just farmhouses. Yeah, that's a really uh, 
really interesting just pop-up of land. Just kind of does it all around here. I'm guessing a lot of this was maybe eroded down a bit from where this was from the runoff. So here you go, New Princeton. Um, right there is where the circle is. I'm gonna say that is not much of a town. Not even much of a village. Got Pac-Man down here. And, uh, road heading off that direction. There's a private strip off to the right somewhere, but we're never going to be able to see it. And then we got a wildlife refuge over there. A lot of this is federally owned lands. Um, just because it's the west. It was newer land that hadn't been completely claimed. You see a lot of red, red looking uh, dirt there. I don't know if they're carving it out or what. Things are starting to kind of redden up around here. But yeah, uh, got this big ass mountain. I mean, that is that peak up there is nine thousand seven hundred thirty-three feet. It doesn't look impressive from here because this is all just a part of that upheaval and nice slow sloping down from the mountain. So this road is going to go up and through, and there's going to be like a dry lake bed over there. We're going to just go ahead and keep going our direction that we are, because we're going to clear these over here. And uh, we should have a fairly impressive view coming up over it. Or it's not going to be as impressive as I think. but. The uh, mountains were named after a general who, I guess, he ran Native Americans up over the mountain away from some areas when we were doing that and kicking people off land. So uh, that is why it's named after him, but most things named after him are spelled wrong. This one isn't. Um, yeah, he's one of the first, when the U.S. military was explorers and, you know, somewhat involved in fighting. Got a little bit of rocky edges and cliffs off of that one there. I wish I could fly a little lower just to see some of these, you know, better, get a better impression of how high up they are. Looks like some of them are about 500, 600 feet high compared to the land around them. But, yeah, there's not a whole lot of history in the area. It does look like a lot of people come over to this desert that is formed by the shadow, the rain shadow of this mountain. Uh, it seems to be a camping area. But uh, I hope it looks cool. I hope 
this is worth the trip to go south where there's not a lot instead of heading over to Boise where there'd be a lot more places to stop along the way to break up the flights. We're going to definitely cover a lot of ground here. Um, looking, we will do have to kind of keep an eye on that this time. We've got a few options if we really, really need to rethink, but I think we'll be okay, especially at this altitude. I can lean it out a little more, back the throttle off a little more. You know, we're still putting quite a bit of throttle in it. So, as we are getting closer, you can kind of see the valley off there. Um, we've got some ridges off on the other side. I'm having a hard time spotting those on the map, though, so... Oh, no, that one over there, that is... Uh... Shit, I... Yeah, I'm having a hard time spotting that. It might be farther out than I think, but... We're definitely getting into some cool-looking landscape here. So all of this just pushed up. Tectonic plates. It's not like folding up onto each other, but it was just pushed up. So that's why you have such a steep direction in one side and a very gentle slope in the other. But just steps and steps up on this side. Very cool looking. I bet this would be a pretty neat drive up through here. But, um, again, there's nothing around here. Like, to even drive out here would just be crazy. Because of the emptiness of everything around you. I mean, yeah, there is ranches and people out here, but to get to the next major city, major being like more than 10,000 people, you'd have to go miles and miles and miles. So now the mountain is looking a little more towering. It's above us. You can definitely tell it's above us. Um, and we're at 8,100 feet right now. So we're going to start getting whipped around just a little bit. Air coming up off of this. As we go across these uh, little foothills. I mean, there's some steep stuff going on here. I'm guessing it looks way more impressive in real life since top-down aerial image is very difficult to make look good when you have pretty much an up-and-down bit of slope. A ranch right below us. And we are kind of... I don't know if we're following that road or if that road went off to the left. This looks like dirt road. But yeah, until I uh, did this flight, I had never heard of any of this area. Um, so another fun bit of doing this trip is like just learning about 
bits of the world in my own country that I never knew about. So yeah, we're definitely going to go straight over this one. Um, some of these peaks are, or the edges of these are 7,200, 7,400. They progressively get higher as you go south. And I don't want to get any closer. Looks like uh, another little dried up lake down there, probably from some of the runoff. And this uh, little smaller area gets directed that way. Even that over there is really cool looking. But if this is as big of a drop as it looks on the map, it's going to be pretty damn cool. And um, this is one of the few, it's all this vegetation is AI generated, but this is one of the few mountains that doesn't have, uh, I think it's uh, fir trees on it, just because of its remote location and maybe due to uh, forest fires that removed all of the uh, trees back in the day. So, another random fact. And it looks like we got some desert off in that direction. I think that's going to be our first true desert that we see. Got a little bit of a lake off to our left couldn't tell if it was actually, it looks like they put water in it. And that makes me think I know where I'm at. We've got a ranch and some buildings right over the edge here. And then there should be a road that's going to run right along the edge of this. And this just looks crazy. I mean, it already looks crazy. Just absolutely nothing. And massive, steep slopes. Yeah, that is a pretty damn steep slope. And we'll go ahead and kind of drop our altitude for a bit just to kind of get a better understanding of how massive this is. But there is the ranch and the road. Just a really, really cool. It's just a massive wall of land that got thrown up in the air. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to get a lot of speed as we drop down. Well, I know for sure I'm out and over. We're 
and drop down. Since there's not a whole hell of a lot around us, we can drop down as far as we want. down to 7,000. I think this goes down to 4,000 in some parts. I'm going to save a screenshot real quick. Going 130. We're going to gain a bit of ground for a bit until we have to climb back up. I just want to get as low as we can since we're not going to be landing around this area. Just kind of see it from what it would look like if you were down on this road. I mean, we're dropping 1,500 feet a minute, and it's taking forever. So it looks like 4,500 is right around where the bottom of this is. So just about 600, 500 feet left. just massive once we get up a little closer I think right around right around this little Polaris hill here Six heavy Salt Lake Center. Continue as planned. we'll uh We'll have a bunch of flat, wide open area. The desert will be visible, and uh, yeah, let's pop outside at this elevation. I bet this looks really, really cool in real life. Like I said, I don't know how you would get here unless you drove for an entire day and uh, then decided to camp out. Alright, so we're at 4,600. There's a little runoff from the snow when the mountains get hit, but even on this side, you're not going to get a whole lot of moisture. Using up a bit of fuel here. That's fine, though. It's definitely worth it to get this perspective. I really hope they didn't put water in this dried up lake bed. It didn't look like it, but now it's looking like there's a bit of water in this first one by the ranch. So the rest of the way, we're going to be flying over land that's about 4,500, but then there's going to be quite a few mountains 
popping up in the middle of it. But we kind of need to just uh, start turning a bit to the south east. Compared to, uh, you know, some of the biggest areas with cliffs and stuff, yeah, not crazy impressive, but for something I've never heard of, um, it's pretty neat to see. So yeah, it looks like we got a little water in this one. Not a whole lot of wind over here. That yeah, looks like a bit of a hmm. I wonder what that is. start our climb back up. And uh, take a look at this little peak over here, which I think is uh, 6,300 feet. It looks almost like a cinder cone, but... Very sure. There is the desert. Pathways up this hill, some ranch or something somewhere around here. Let's hop back in the uh, cockpit. And we are nearly to the high peak. Yeah, I don't know if that is uh, volcanic or not. definitely didn't see the lava fields. We weren't far enough east, I think. And there was some... Switching to a different Salt Lake Center. Hey, we just we're exploring down a little low. Back up. That's a pretty steep edge over there too. Whoops. I didn't want to do that. I thought I was uh, saying something. Salt Lake well, Center says the now we're just going to annoy him. Bravo Oscar November flight is time Cessna 150 216 miles northeast of Oscar Gulf 5 tree 5800 feet. Request flight following. Cessna Kilo November Echo Echo Bravo Oscar November flight Salt Lake Center. Squad 0674. Squad 0674 Cessna Oscar. Yeah, I don't think that was volcanic. I think it kind of, something was popping up behind that, and uh, 
heard that was popping up behind that and made it look like it. But these are definitely just shoved up areas. All right, didn't cancel it at the time, so we're good there. Uh, let's figure out where exactly we're at. Got this little bend in the road, and then there's a dirt road path that goes off that direction. These little uh, cliffs like this are cool looking too. Like I said, like the desert areas in this game just look awesome. They just look more realistic to me. Uh, right, so now we're at the Alvord Desert. That is this bit here. And we're going to see if we can find any paths for where they do the speed runs. It's not, you know, Bonneville, but they do come out here and do runs. And we'll start climbing back up. So we've got... The high peak is gonna be... It looks like it's that, but I think it's right around here. It's right at the top edge of the desert. But hard to tell with it zoomed out like that. Yeah, it's probably right around there, but you can see how much different, like, walking up that side compared to walking and climbing up this side. So, very first actual sandy desert. And yeah, I don't even think, I don't even think it's a dried up lake bed. I think it's just, I don't know. I don't know how exactly this forms. How I know it's because of the way this mountain affects moisture and clouds. How it becomes so flat, I don't know. It could be that this is the low point and any of the water that does come off this side gets here and erodes it and flattens it. Maybe. I'm just talking out my ass. Um, not, not sure. Just coming up with theories. Alright, we're back up to 7,000. We'll go ahead and climb all the way to 8. And we're heading directly south. We'll get... I'm trying to figure out the best way to direct myself here. And I think it's going to be... I don't know. I do not know exactly how I'm going to figure out where I'm at. We can follow the desert down and then try to point out where these, because, all right, I'll show you on the map. We're here right now. We've got these mountains, but I'm having a hard time really pinpointing the valleys in them, because those valleys will direct us down this way to the town. We've got the Santa Rosa Peak over here. That's pointing us down straight to the town. So I think if we can find this, um, that will be the best indicator on if we're headed in the right direction. There we go. We got a little bit of uh, a bit of lines in the sand now. Is this where they do it? Is this where the runs are? see people coming out and driving around on this, I assume. Or maybe it's water. Uh, that's got to be human-made. It thinks there's a building over there. Um, 
that's not correct, Microsoft. What the hell is this? Oh, I think those are just people gathered out there, isn't it? I think those are some cars down there. Parked in a circle. It's gotta be. Or it is a desert Stonehenge no one knows about until just now, even though people clearly come out here. Um, yeah, so, the AI for some reason thought there was a building there. Uh, <laughs> no idea why. It's clearly just uh, the same color as everything around it, but... I'm going to assume... I don't know. This I can't figure out exactly what this line is. Maybe it's just the line in the image. It might be the line that they run, and it's just kind of scraped down. Yeah, it keeps putting a lot of buildings around here. What are you doing, Microsoft? It's a desert. Oh, well. Um... That's definitely a, a run area as well. Alright, so straight south of here is a pretty damn big peak. That is the furthest south of the peaks that we want, and then that's the middle peak, and then that's the northern peak. So if we kind of head this direction, it should get us in a decent area, I think. And it's just putting buildings everywhere. Sand shape or sand covered buildings. Maybe there's something out here we just don't know about. Alright, we're back to 8,000. Let's go ahead and level off. Can throttle back down a bit. Oops. Get this trimmed out before the throttle. Right around 8,000. We'll do. It's having a hard time trimming itself now. Okay. So, yeah, these are definitely a little bit of upheaval on this side as well, but clearly not as huge as that. Got like almost dunes down here. I look around though. Just absolutely nothing. Fuel, we're still above three quarter. And I think we're past halfway. I mean, we're 54 minutes into the flight, so... God, I hope so. Oh, man, we... might not even be past halfway. Oh, boy. <laughs> we got a ways to go. We started here. We're here. We gotta go down to here. Not to halfway yet. This might be a two hour, two and a half hour video. Yeah. 
Who knows? But I know as we get further south, it, uh, what it looks like on a map to go north and south takes even longer as well, so. Um, you know what? Throttle up a bit more. Bring our speed up. And, uh, let's figure out what to uh, look at now. That looks really good back that direction. So that peak right here is 8,600. And then the same for that one there. We'll just skirt through. These will have a lot of room through the valleys. They're very wide valleys, but, um, yeah, there's not even, like, small towns. There's just a bunch of ranches. figure out what this peak over here is called. I think uh, it's big enough to uh, have some sort of story. Pueblo Mountain Wilderness Area, it looks like. And Pueblo Mountain. Lots of wilderness areas. Let's see, uh, try to preserve some things. We are nearly about to cross into Nevada which we will do once we get um, to this peak. Looks like that peak is right on the border. Then we'll be in Nevada and then we've just got a bit more time to go, I guess. But yeah, I think a lot of these mountain ridges were formed by, um, well, you know, some of them look like they are due to plates running into each other and others are, and folding up and others are one plate getting pushed up and over. It's hard to tell.
this is definitely going to get us um, into a good spot for the next flight, though. Uh, we'll be able to follow this over. And, well, that's the Salt Lake. I don't really want to go to Salt Lake. I've lived there for a year, so I know what's around it. I've already done a flight out of Salt Lake many times. So, what is down this direction? You now we just got these like repetitive ridges. And then. What? Cedar City. That might be the path to come down through here and then over Texas and then down. God, we have so much flying to do. It is crazy. I've lost where we're even at now. myself even on the map. Let me figure out where that is down there and there. So yeah. Almost to Nevada, and then we probably got 45 minutes from that. It would help if I just start turning direct to there. Um, I think we could probably start doing that now that we can see a path through this. to understand the terrain here to make sure that I'm going to go through the right area. So if we come out this on, well, there's back behind the massive peaks that we're looking for, Santa Rosa Peak. So we'll just head to that, and that's going to guide us down. Yep, that's the plan. Although we're still heading directly south. That doesn't seem right. Now that is definitely not right. Here we go. Me trying to figure out directions again. Maybe that is peak. No, because that's not far enough south. Alright, so we got Pueblo Mountain, which is now to our right almost. So that puts me, puts me like here ish. And what I'm looking for is this over here. Because that'll guide us in. That definitely, I guess, could be the end of the mountain range. Let's just pop over to this side. Just come through here. There is a little peak right in the middle of it, so that is right. And you know what? There's actually an airport just on the other side of this. That's 
not actually too far out of the way. And I think that would be a good ending point. So our goal is to find this, McDermott State. That is, that's the plan. It's not going to be a big airport. It's right on the border. But I don't want this flight to go too damn long. And if we're going all the way down to where we were planning, um, it was going to be way too long. Now, I might change my mind again, but now you're figuring out if we do end up stopping why the video was only an hour and 20 minutes or so long instead of what looked to be a much longer flight when we started off. Looking back. Of, uh, Desert ridges you can see off on past the mountain now. It's got some neat little bluffs. And then this little ridge coming off the backside is kind of pointing us directly to McDermott. think. We will hope so. So let's figure out what McDermott State is. It's obviously a state-owned State-owned airport. It is in Nevada, actually. No. It is just a half mile of north of McDermott, Nevada, in Oregon. Found something that said airport layout clicked on it and it said not available. Uh, let's see if Air Nav's got anything. Alright, so this is what we're looking for is something that looks like that. So it is it's gonna be It's got to be dirt, right? By the way, is asphalt. Okay. Could have fooled me. But it looks like it's going to be hard to spot. And if we don't find it, I have no idea what I'll do. Unfortunately, there's not a line for every border, unless the aerial image is screwed up, and there is a line. There's a line right there for aerial image, but definitely not the Nevada-Oregon border. Start getting bounced around again. Pretty neat little area as well. Starting 
to get back to uh, places that have a little water. I'm guessing some moisture can sneak through there. But then these are even shading a bit down here. Seeing on the map is just not matching up anymore. Just like, you know, it is and it isn't. I don't know. Eight thousand five hundred. That's fine. Gaining altitude. Uh, there's something shimmering up there the prop. No, that's absolutely no way it's that. If it is, then I have no idea what the hell any of the terrain is around any of this. I don't know, I'm very worried about what is over here. Alright, what direction am I headed? I'm still heading a lot south. I think we're actually... just fucking lost. Let's see if we can see Pueblo anymore. And we're not very far south of that. I think I know where I'm at. I just don't know what these are over to the east. This is very difficult. That peak is randomly there. All right. We've got this big flat area. We've got this ridge extending out and getting lower. We've got this one as well. I mean, this is a pretty damn big ridge here. No. All right. No, I'm being stupid. I figured it out. No, I didn't. All right, so here's what I'm trying to figure out. I feel like we just went over this, heading in this direction. This is going directly east and west, but this is going with us as we go southeast. Now, if I look for things that are going southeast, like, I don't see much of anything headed in that direction, and I thought maybe it was this trail off here, because, I mean, that kind of looks right, and it's going southeast. then everything past here just does not match up. With the map, I just, I'm so damn lost. I was worried about this. But hey, look, we at least saw that little peak guy.
got some ranches. We don't have really roads. I guess there is a bit of a road along the side of this. gonna hope that these little roads lead us to something. Or maybe we were further north than I had thought, but that still doesn't make sense. So maybe that wasn't actually what I thought it was. That is actually Pueblo. That makes more sense. Still doesn't make sense what the hell this is over here. I know it would be easier if I just put in the uh, VOR flew to it, but that's not the point of this. The point is to find my way through a VFR map, not even satellite or Google. Even though that would be available to me in real life, Um, let's figure out what direction we're headed again. Southeast. Haven't haven't changed that. We're almost up to uh, ten thousand now. Just been uh, climbing this whole time path up the side of the mountain there. So maybe I thought it was too far south. Maybe all these mountains are further out than what they seem. be able to find this formation here. This looks like a bit of a triangle. It's off the end of a fairly large formation. I mean, maybe it is this bit down here. This almost looks more realistic, but there's no way in hell we're all the way down there. But that would put us with these off to our left. Am I that fucking lost?
There's no way we're that lost. Yeah, because the sharp end of this is... No, there's, there's no way. I mean, I am lost. I am that lost, but... There's no way we got that far south. Alright. I just need to look for anything. Is that a little town? No, just a ranch. Unfortunately, we have even less things out here for you know, lakes and other things that could help out. Seems like we got this ridge popping up out here that Nothing, 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 nothing at all looks right. Oh, we maybe are farther south than I thought. Maybe McDermott is back up that way. Maybe this is going to be a three-hour video until I run out of fuel. Um... Alright, this looks like a fairly straight and sort of major road that maybe shows up on the map. How did I get so lost? We got more desert down there. check on direction. All right, we're heading really south now. I just, I feel like there's no possible way that we're farther south than I think I am, but it's the only real possibility with these mountains off to my left. Now, this is definitely... definitely a road that is somewhat major. For the area. I'm not saying it's an interstate, but... Um... There is a bit of a road that is going oh, that doesn't make sense. Alright, we're just gonna keep flying. There's no other option than to keep flying can't just land and figure out where the hell I'm at. I could pull up the map, but I'm not going to cheat like that. Um, that is a paved road. Let's get this thing trimmed down. We're at 10,000 feet right now. Another check of that 
that really could be those down here. That's starting to look more more possible. If so, what the hell am I over? Am I over this? Am I over this? How did we end up there? Those are still pretty far south, so am I up here? We got a very straight, direct road that goes through a valley there. Is that what we see there? Holy crap, I think it is. We are way farther south than I thought. Yeah. That is making more sense. How did we end up so far south without knowing it? Holy crap. Alright, so what it's looking like is this road does that little bend that we saw. It goes down here. There's farms here. Numerous farms. But we were just so far south. I thought we were up here. But that's that peak. So we got a lot farther south than I thought. And yeah, we're down here and I guess we're going all the way. Okay, I feel better. We have solved, we've solved uh, where we're at. Except for every time I go back to look at it on the map, I lose. There we are. So we're actually about right over top of the VOR. Um, so we're gonna... If I look at that pass, and we go directly south of that pass... Yeah, I think we just go straight south here. Holy crap, that was very disorienting trying to figure that all out. Nothing was making sense that I was looking at, but thankfully that road, a little bend in the road, saved us. Otherwise, I was going to start heading to the left, and we were just going to take up even more time. Now we're heading down this. So what I'm seeing here is not as big as it looks when put on the map. And that's what's throwing me off. So we're gonna head down here. These are that. That blue mountain is that. Uh, that that are all of those and the airport is somewhere in this area. So now we're not going to McDermott. We don't have to worry about that and we should be able to spot this airport because it is not a major airport but better than what we were going to head to. Wow, that was disorienting. I can't imagine, like, had this been real life and I was trying to figure that out and do this just visually, I, I definitely would have switched to VOR and tried to, tried to figure it out. Um, and I would have been having a panic attack going, holy shit, I have no idea where I'm at. So we're heading south, we're at 9,300, 
elevation of the airport looks to be about 45 to 5,000. We still got a long ways to go, but I'm not turning around and going back up to the other option, so we are on this path because I had no damn idea where I was. And fuel-wise, three quarters of a tank, so I mean, hell, we could go a four-hour flight. Man, that was disorienting. So, all right, so I think actually that big peak back there is Sonoma Peak, which is off to the left, east of the town. And I think the town is gonna be there in that area. All right, we're heading south. I gotta figure this out again. We at least sort of know where we're at, but trying to pick out peaks and figure out which ones they are on the map is what I'm struggling with. So got a bunch of roads here and I'm thinking to think there should be a north and south road I feel like I'm turning I am let's prevent that from happening aren't making sense again. Alright. Nope. Maybe. Nope. I have no idea. <laughs> I've never found and lost myself so many damn times in a row. I mean, that's a pretty big road, too. That should be fairly simple to find. There's no way I'm that far south, is there? No. Got a little lake. Got a little lake. A little lake's gonna help us. Alright, that road runs off 
to the end of what I think is Santa Rosa Peak Mountains. Which means that this, I'll show you here, is here. And this road is, there should be a road like cutting through, like a dirt path cutting through right there. Okay. And then I guess that's the lake, but it doesn't really look like it's in the correct spot. No, wait, that's not the lake. Oh my God. Are you just pointing at your screen yelling? You're right here. Let's just turn the bunch there. Let's head south more. I mean, there's a massive peak over there. I knew this was going to be difficult, but holy hell. Farms. We've got farms written anywhere around here. Ranch, farm. should be over here somewhere, so. We just gotta hope. The next major road should have a railroad next to it. And a river. Yeah, there's definitely Humble River. Okay. We're just gonna head south. I think that Sonoma Peak is to the left. I'm confused by what this is here. I really hope what we just went over... No, there wasn't a river. Or was there a river? There's no way. <laughs> there should be a major road on the other side of that mountain. Highway 95 is what I am hoping. And then that is pointing directly. There should be a W over there. I know that doesn't sound right. I think the town is back there. I think... Fuck, this is difficult. Alright, we're gonna head left. Because there should be some better landmarks over there. And as we do, 
should be seeing things that make more sense as we get closer to this town, which is hopefully right there. So we just got, we got farther west than I thought, farther south than I thought. It still doesn't make any sense. What that peak is, I have no damn idea. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm so confused. We're down to 8,500 feet now, which is good. We need to be dropping because eventually, when I find the town that we're looking for, we'll land at the town. We're an hour and 41 minutes in, so it makes sense that we're nearly there. And I was planning to do this without the stop at Burns. That would have been like a two and a half hour just mess. Okay, so if this is what I think it is, there should be a highway maybe that we can spot coming around that side. This is Blue Mountain, I hope. Just on the other side of that should be a road a railroad and a river. If not, then we are absolutely screwed. This may be Sonoma Peak. That, I have no idea, because it looks like it's massive. We gotta hope that this is a town up here. We gotta hope that there's a W somewhere on the side of this hill. Um, around Blue Mountain, if that is Blue Mountain, So yeah, I don't know if we're going to see the letter W, if you're wondering what I'm talking about. Letter W. And there's going to be a bit of town, and then a bit more town. And if that is not there, then I am going to have to resort to radio. And it is now uh, past 12.30 local time. This has been a long-ass day. What are we at? 10.1 hours now on the plane. So nearly seven hours into this trip. I will say we've made it pretty far south. We haven't made it very far east at all.
There's a little bit of desert down there. We gotta hope there's some some civilization around here somewhere. We're looking for that letter W. I do think I see a river coming up around. Yeah, alright. Looks like we're good. The airport should be right around here. I'm gonna go see this damn letter W though. I don't I don't care if it adds an extra five minutes. It's probably gonna be the least impressive letter W ever. Be like a tiny five rock thing. Alright, I feel better. We're gonna go ahead and use the radio to call the airport. Salt Lake Center Cessna Oscar November 5 cancel flight following. Cessna Oscar November 5 Salt Lake Center cancellation received. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Hopefully nearest airport is that. It is. Let's listen to... Kilo Whiskey Mike Charlie automated weather observation 1900 Zulu. Wind calm. Alright. Visibility one zero. We can land whichever way we want and the runways are 32142 2, and 20. I'm not even going to call in and say how many miles out I am. I don't want to cheat it that way. Since it's not a tower and there's obviously no traffic, we are just going to do our thing. We'll go see the W and then find the damn airport. And I hope not get lost. So we're at 8,000 feet. It looks like ground level is around... Uh, Airport level is 4,300. Let's go ahead and reset altimeter. What a trip. Um, yeah, definitely didn't plan on it being a two hour plus video. was I could not figure out where the hell I was I'm glad I didn't start going east I finally got it to add up in my brain where things were but just a lot of lack of features out here and trying to judge elevation for what is showing and, and what it looks like to you I that was so difficult And then time went a lot quicker. Like, I didn't feel like we had went from an hour to an hour and 40 as fast as we did. Because at around an hour and 10, I think, I was thinking that I wasn't even in Nevada and was going to head east. And then all of a sudden, by the time I figured out where the hell I was... It was an hour 40 into the video and trying to then figure out, oh shit, I'm this far south. Just, that wouldn't mess with my brain. It's gonna, it's gonna be rough until, you know, I might just take this road that Winnemucca is on and we'll do some short hops for the next few and maybe head over to Elko that's probably where we'll head next but that takes us essentially to Salt Lake 
I mean, it's not too big of a deal. I'll do some looking around, but I don't want to get lost again like that. Airport's there. The W needs to be over here. If the W is not here, I am going to be very disappointed. I already know it's not worth the trip over here, but it's fine. We've got the airport in sight. We're way too damn high anyways. Kill the throttle. That was a trip. Jesus. I need to just look around and see what's around me better and zoom out and, you know, like I should have noticed that those mountains were to our east. There's no way I could be where I thought I was. not written it on the map would have never known it was here but since they did let's see it to celebrate actually making it here and not ending up in the absolute wrong place of the world this is going to be so unimpressive see it. It's got to be on the side so that the town can see it. Where's your damn W at? Are you serious? I'm going to spend another two hours trying to find this W. Side real quick, give us a bigger view. Is that gonna be the W? Is that the W? That is even less impressive than I thought it was gonna be. There you go, there's the W. Hardly visible. Alright. Let's go land. So you got a bit of town up here, and then it's saying there's a bit of town down by the airport. And a space in between. We got interstate going through here. Is it Interstate 95? No, it's... No, it's I-80. Well, alright. We're on I-80. That is... That shoots through Nebraska. And Salt Lake. And I've pretty much lived on I-80 everywhere I've lived. So... Pretty impressive interchange there. For fairly small town. That W was not worth it. I was looking for a big, big W. Um, looks like there's a runway heading this direction. We got wind nowhere. Let's go ahead and say we are landing on 
20. It appears. Kilo Whiskey Mike Charlie Traffic says Kilo November Echo Echo Bravo Oscar November Fife is on final runway 20 to land. coming in hot because I am tired of flying. Shit, looks like we're going to have to taxi a mile. I'm going to pull the power hard and try to stop this thing as quickly as possible. And just turn around on the runway. The other runway is even further away from the actual ramp, it looks like. This is a taxiway going across in front, so. Flaps out really late, just burn the speed. They might have been out too early, too. Wasn't in the white line. It's okay. Really high. Leading off speed though, pretty good. And flare up in a second, and we're gonna land very, very short. Brakes on as hard as possible, and yeah. Haven't been on a wide runway like this in a while. Turned around. Taxi over to the ramp. So, uh, three quarter fuel. Let's see what it says here. Got 8.7 gallons in both sides. So, um, yeah, we could have went a long ways, but I don't think I could have stood any more of that. That mountain looks pretty damn big from down here now. Runway, not gonna announce that. Um, this is supposed to be brush and probably not tall trees. I'm gonna guess. Not often do you have trees that big right off the ramp, so I'm gonna say it's supposed to be brush. Now, once you get down low, desert does look pretty terrible. But, uh, it's definitely one of the better looking ones while you're up in the air. We are in Nevada, and we'll take a quick look and see how far we've went on this trip since the very beginning, just to get an idea. there and you're not really standing on a thing so I'm just gonna ignore you and park it right here close enough let's shut it down hour 52 um, yeah not gonna hop out of the plane yet let's uh, there kill that all the lights cuz we are shutting down for the day unless I decide to do some later tonight but probably not all right let's look at the map and then in this video as we cross over to our mark 
We are here. And we started up here. Holy shit. Alright, we have made a lot of progress now. That's a long ways. That trip took a big chunk out of this. Um, we're kind of halfway down the U.S. So, I think it's there. Yeah, it's there. So, I mean, we are on I-80, which crosses through Salt Lake and up into Wyoming and then down into Nebraska. So where we go from here, well, we got to start heading this direction, obviously, because there's a lot of this way to go. Um, I think we go to Elko next. And then from Elko, I guess we're going to go to Salt Lake. I don't want to, but we're going to need to. And from Salt Lake, um, I don't know. Do we just directly cross the Rockies? Might do that. I will decide that at some other point, but yeah. What, like seven hours in on this? And we've got... 30 more hours to go, probably. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series. And, yeah, this was a long flight, but we got across a lot of empty space. And, yeah, I think it's time to start heading more east. And then, then we'll decide. Maybe come down through here, but we gotta we got to shorten up these flights a bit. So, all right, thanks for watching.